I got access to about 22,000 text messages that were from personnel in the video room. And it was clear from those messages that they were communicating back and forth about the rule violations. They were aware of the Red Sox and Yankees rule violations. They were aware it was wrong. And they also were using text messages to cheat on the job. They were communicating signs. And this was to coaches. This was to people in the video room. Um, it's all there in black and white. And it's what's also clear from it is who's not involved. I'm not implicated. I'm not in any of those text messages. In fact, there's a few text messages uh, where they say, don't tell Jeff. So it, it, it's pretty clear that I wasn't involved from that. Um, but it's also clear who was involved and how often it happened mm -hmm. and, um, and the extent to which it happened. Who had access to those texts and documents? Uh, the documents, the texts and the documents are all uh, part of the investigation. So Major League Baseball had all of it. Um, the Astros have all of it. And um, like I said, it's all there in black and white. It's pretty clear when you read through those text messages. Um, and I'm talking about the video decoding scheme. I'm not talking about the trash can banging scheme, mm -hmm. two separate things. But it's pretty clear who was involved in the video decoding scheme, when it started, how often it happened, um, and basically when it ended. And it's also pretty clear who was not involved. And um, I don't know why that information, that evidence wasn't discussed in the ruling, wasn't used. Um, the people who were involved that didn't leave naturally to go to other teams are all still employed by the Astros. In fact, one of the people who was uh, intimately involved, um, I had demoted from a position in the, in the clubhouse to a position somewhere else. And after I was fired, he was promoted back into the clubhouse. So none of those people faced any repercussions. They weren't discussed in the report, uh, but the evidence is all there that they were involved. When you look at these texts and these emails and you kind of pick out smoking guns per se, how many do you have? And are you and AJ included in any of these text messages, these group texts? So in the 22,000 text messages, and that's just a small part of the evidence, mm -hmm. there's also emails and Slack messages and so forth, uh, a lot of which I haven't seen. Obviously, I have all the ones that I've been copied on. But um, it's pretty clear that the group, um, you know, the cabal, if you want to call it, of, of, of people in the video room and aligned with the coaches who were uh, executing the video decoding scheme, that they started thinking about it in, towards the end of 2016. And then really about May of 2017 is when you start to see evidence of execution. Mm -hmm. And they weren't hiding it in terms of their discussions with one another. It was, it was pretty blatant. They were um, you know, assigning duties, who's on code breaker duty tonight. They were text messaging signs to a coach that would be in the dugout so that he could communicate the signs to the, run the runner at second. Um, and it, it, it went on. Uh, for all of 2017, and it went on for a portion of 2018. Like I said, I argued for and voted for enforcement by MLB, so there was a, uh, a security agent in the dugout and in the clubhouse in 2018, but they weren't there full time, so it was a little bit more uh, hit and miss in terms of when, when you would see evidence of it in 18, but it did happen in 18. It probably stopped around midsummer 18, and then there's absolutely no evidence of it going on after that. But um, the reality is the, the Astros cheated uh, in 2017 um, and, and cheated a little bit uh, again in 2018 using just the decoder method, and, um, and it was wrong, and it, it's, it should never have happened. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm upset. I'm really upset that it happened. I'm upset for our fans. Uh, I'm upset for players on other teams that um, gave up hits as a result of this. That should never have happened. If we won games because of it, that should never have happened. And um, we didn't need to do it. We had a great team. With a team we put together in 2017 that, you know, a lot of which is still together today, yeah. uh, is one of the best teams of the 21st century and has had an incredible stretch. And there's no reason why 
we needed to explore breaking the rules to gain an advantage. It made no sense to me.